silence. Thank you. Um, we don't have transcripts as yet. We are hoping to have them within the next couple of hours. If you need quotes urgently, I suggest you record or write things down in the old-fashioned way. Um, so they will be on there, but just if you're filing straight away, start recording now. Um, yeah, not, not great. So with this, then you see. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so not not feeling good. Um, yeah, obviously, been struggling for a, a long time. Um, I've been in, in a lot of pain um, for what well, has been probably about 20 months now. Um, I've pretty much, you know, pretty much done everything that that I could to. You know, to try and get my hip feeling feeling better, and um, you know, hasn't hasn't helped loads. Um, you know, I'm I'm in a better place than I was six months ago, but you know, still still in a lot of pain. Um, and yeah, it's been um, it's been tough. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play. Um, I mean, I can, I can still play to to a level, not a level that I'm happy playing at. But also, you know, it's not just that. the 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 pain is is, um, you know, is, is is too much, really. And yeah, it's not something that I want to. You know, I don't. I don't want to continue playing that way um, you know I think um, like I said I, I've tried pretty much everything that, that I could to to get it right and that that hasn't that hasn't worked um, you know so you know my my plan um, you know I kind of in the middle to end of December during my training block um, you know I spoke to my team and I, and I told them that you know I I, I can't you know, I can't keep doing this, and that I needed to have like an end point um, because it, I was sort of just just playing with no idea of when the sort of the, the pain was gonna pain was gonna stop, um, and I I felt like making that decision. Um, you know, I, I said to my team, "Look, I think I can kind of get through this until." Into Wimbledon, that is where where I would like to. That that that's where I would like to stop um, stop playing. Um, but I, I'm I'm also not certain I'm able to do that.
Um, yeah, I think I think there's, there's there's a chance of that. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, there's, there's a chance of that for sure because, yeah, like I said, I, I'm not I'm not sure um, I'm not sure I'm able to to play through the the pain, you know, for another four or five months. Um, I have an option to you know, to, to have another um, operation which, you know, is, you know, a little bit more um, <laughs> kind of uh, severe than what I've had before and having my hip resurfaced, which, um, you know, will allow me to, to have a, a, a better quality of life and be, be out of pain. Um, you know, and that that's something that I'm, I'm seriously considering right now. Um, some athletes have had that and 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 gone back to to competing um but it's uh, there's obviously no guarantees um with that and it's certainly not something that if um the, the reason for for having an operation like that is not to return to professional sport it's you know it's just for for a better quality of life Yeah, for myself mainly. Um, you know, there's lot, lots of little things that, you know, obviously you guys see me running around the tennis court and walking in between points, and obviously I know it doesn't look good and it doesn't look comfortable, but, you know, there's there's little things like, you know, day to day that are, that are also a struggle. And, um, yeah be nice to be able to do them um you know without any pain putting shoes on socks on you know things like that um so yeah i mean that that's you know that that that's the main reason for doing it and it's something that you know if i was to, to have an operation like that i mean i would rehab correctly and do it do it properly to give you know my hip the best chance of being as good as it you know, as good as it can be, but I'm also realistic and knowing that, you know, that's, you know, not not an easy thing to, to come back to or play to, you know, professional sport to, to a high level. I mean, it's been, it has been done. Um, Bob Bryan had this operation post um, Wimbledon last year and is obviously back playing. And I've had lots of communication with him ab about it, and um, you know, but but there's obviously there's a difference between singles and doubles in terms of the physicality and the movement and stuff. So, you know, certainly no no guarantees there. So, yeah. Um, I saw him yesterday, actually, yeah, um, and, yeah, I mean, it was just that, I mean, I have, you know, a severely damaged right hip, um, and, you know, having the operation last year, um, you know, was to, you know, give it the, the best possible chance of, of being better. I mean, I'd been playing with hip pain for a number of years. It wasn't like it just started, you know, at the French Open after a match with Stan. It just it got to a level where I, I couldn't, re I didn't recover from that match and pushed it over the the edge. And having the operation was hopefully going to, um, yeah, you know, like I say, make it as good as possible. And um, you know, it, it didn't help with the pain at all, and that's kind of been the the thing that I've been been struggling with. Obviously, you know, like the, the walking and there's certain things on the court that I can't really do properly. Um, you know, now, but the pain is kind of the the driving factor because I can play with limitations. That's not an issue. It's the, the you know having the limitations and then also the pain is is not allowing me to, to enjoy 
competing or training or any of the stuff that, that I love about tennis. No. Um, last question from Reem, please, over here on the right-hand side. I'm sorry, I want to know if you could ask, but from a personal perspective, what have you been doing with the hip from a relative perspective? Well, I mean, I've talked a lot. <laughs> I mean, way too much about my hip for... A, 80 months pretty much I mean it's a daily thing I mean it, and it's not you know it isn't just people that I work with that ask me it's everyone so everyone that I bump into it's, that's all I talk about and yeah it's just pretty you know it's pretty draining um, I mean I've spoken not, not loads but you know a number of times to psychologists and stuff about it um but you know nothing nothing helps because you're in lots and lots of pain and you can't do what it is that you what it is that you want that you want to do and you love doing and or I can do it it's just not fun not enjoyable doing it anymore so yeah I mean that's kind of what I've done I've just tried to try to deal with it talked about it um but none of that makes my hip feel better, unfortunately. I wish it did, because if it did, it'd be feeling brilliant just now. Um, but it, it doesn't, so.